Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe. So today I thought we would go ahead and talk a little bit of natural nails. So I'm just going to start out by gloving up the hand that I'm not going to be working on. So I don't know, a lot of people, I think they have a beef with gloves. I don't know why. Gloves are so important when you're using chemicals. All nail products are chemicals. They're not good to get on your skin. So anytime you are doing nails, whether it be your own nails or somebody else's nails, wear gloves, even wear glove on the hand that you're not working on. So I'm going to put um, a glove on my right hand and I'm going to work on my left hand. So here I thought we would go in and look at these natural little nails. They're in rough shape. I did have just a gel overlay on them for about three weeks. So I did go ahead and take all that off. Now they're still in pretty bad shape. I'm not going to lie to you guys. My nails, they're brittle. They just, they don't grow out very well unless i have product on them but as soon as i take the product off it is like they're brittle little guys even here that has already started to break but i can fix that to keep the length of that nail if i want um so yeah i thought i would just go ahead and show you how i apply basically a gel polish on a natural nail but i also to be honest, I like to put a little bit of a builder gel down first. I think it actually gives you the strength and structure that your natural nail needs to be able to withstand a little bit of length for it to actually get the structure and strength that it needs for just a regular gel polish overlay. So shall we get started? Okay, guys. So first things first, we have our nails. So I just want to go in and prep our nails to be able to put on our gel polish. Or in my case, I'm actually going to want to put a builder gel on first and then go ahead and put our gel polish on. But we still have to prep these nails. These are not prepped at all. And any product we put on them will just lift because there is dead cuticle on our nails. Our nails are pretty oily and they're just, they're just not ready. So let's get them prepared. So the couple tools that I'm going to be using today, I'm going to get a cuticle bit. We're going to need a ball bit. Where is that medium barrel bit? I have mine on my drill and a drill if you have one. Don't mind my little tape. I'm gonna have to replace that soon. Okay, also what we're going to need today is we are going to need a dehydrator and a primer as well as a base coat. Now, I normally like to use a potted base coat when I do extension gels, but this uh, extension gel is a builder, which is a soak off gel. So as long as you use a soak off base with a soak off gel, you'll be perfectly fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Born Pretty soak off base um, because I'm gonna use the Born Pretty extension gel. So I'm gonna keep the same brand together. I recommend if you can keep your same brands with your products if possible. Okay, so let's just go ahead and push back our cuticles. Be gentle. Again, very important. Your prep is very important, guys. Even for just a regular gel polish. Okay, now we got that done. Just gonna go in with our drill. This is the Jade Melody Susie. I'll make sure I have the link down there. I love her. She's definitely one of my favorite. Melody Susie honestly is my favorite for all my uh, drills. Any of my, all my drills are Melody Susie. Okay, so we're just gonna grab our cuticle bit and this is a Wilson cuticle bit. All of my drill bits I buy off AliExpress and they're Wilsons from that company. I personally just like them. Oops, make sure that our little plastic isn't touching. Now I have it up at 03, uh, what is that, like RPMs or whatever? And we're on forward. So we're just going to go ahead and clean our cuticle. Now you see that I'm only gonna go down, what is that, my left side? So my drill is on forward and I'm going this way. So it's your left, right? My left anyways, going to my left. Now you're probably like, why are you just doing that on only half of your nails? Mm -hmm. Because now with this, I'm also gonna show you. Now this is how I kind of was taught to use a drill. Now I guess we all use it differently. And I don't always do it this way either, to be honest, I don't. But I think that's the proper way. So anyways, 
all on our left side. Now go ahead and switch your drill to reverse. I'm going to keep it on the same three. We have it on three? We have it on four now. Keep it on the same four. Now we're in reverse. Now what you're gonna do is go this way. Go on your right side. Yeah. That's why I just do half and then I come back and do the whole half on that side instead of switching my drill back and forth. Makes sense in my head to do it there. Then there we go. Guys, I'm so sorry I can hear all the noise. The building is doing construction and this is why it's really hard for me to film lately. Oh my gosh, it is literally driving me up the wall. But there's not much I can do about all the noise or we're just not gonna get no videos for the next however many months, right? So we gotta deal with a little bit of noise, I apologize. So we're just gonna go in now and just gonna wipe off our mail. Okay. Cuticles are all done. Now we're going to take out this drill bit. We're going to put in a ball bit. And with this, we're going to exfoliate our nail proximal fold. So we're going to put, sorry, put it in forward now, put it back and forward. Okay. And keep it on four. We don't need to be too, um, too fast. Now for this, what we're gonna do is just exfoliate our nail proximal fold, which is your skin. That's all that is up there. Actually not your cuticle. Your cuticle is the dead skin. Um, that live skin up there is the nail proximal fold. So we're just gonna kind of massage that, get any extra skin or anything off that. Now that we have our nail all exfoliated, leave that drill bit in there for a second. Now, this is completely up to you and how you feel comfortable. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to nip off any of that dead skin. Now, only do this if you're comfortable, guys. And I get, your skin looks a little whitish. It's gonna look not alive. Let me see if I can get a good piece. You see that right there? How it's almost a separate color that little flabbiness, that's dead. It's whitish. It's not the same color as my skin up here, which is more a little bit like pinkier. And if you get that, if you touch it, your it goes white and then your blood flows back to it. Don't cut that one. You'll get, you'll get a bleeder. Um, it's just that little piece. I hope you can see what I'm trying to point out there. All right, let's go get it nipped off. And I'm actually pulling my skin back with my thumb as well. I'm be pulling. We're gonna try to fix it though. So I can show you how to keep the length if we can. <laughs> get that cuticles off though, let's get the dead ones off.
Oop. Careful. Help myself. And you always gotta be careful. Okay. There we go. So we have our cuticles looking pretty good. Okay, so now what we're gonna have to do is that even though I took off the nails, we're gonna pretend like I didn't have nails on prior. So that way you would know what to do with your natural nails. So say this is just your natural nail and you've cleaned your cuticle now. So now we do have to rough up our nail just a little bit. Now, this will not destroy your nail. It won't damage your nail, but you do have to rough up, rough up the surface enough for the products of the base to stick to your nail. If not, you're gonna get lifting, you're gonna get separation. It's just because the oils in our skin go seep through our nails and all that. So it's just, unfortunately, oil and chemicals don't like each other. So you kind of have to rough it up a little bit just so it can kind of seep into the nail a little bit, if that makes sense. So let's get us a buffer, that's all you need. I'm just gonna use this little buffer. Like to use the round and just get in the little edges. Okay. And just to wipe them off. Oh, it's not breaking. That's, that's, that's it. That's done. That piece is done. Yep, I knew it. Try to save her. So, all right, we'll see if we can still fix it. Okay, and all nice and cleaned off. So from here, let's get some products. Now, what you would do for a natural nail, so I would still recommend a dehydrator as well as a primer. So I am just gonna go ahead and dehydrate my nail. And then I'm going to prime. So I kind of want to show you, I was thinking this is actually what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to show you two different ways. I want to show you how, you know, why I prefer a builder gel, a slight builder gel overlay, and then your polish rather than just a polish, because I feel like the polish doesn't give you any structure and it just, there's no structure. So your nail's still weak. It's just colored pretty, but it's still weak. So it's, it's not going to give the longevity and I feel you're still going to get breakage. So this is why I kind of prefer an overlay, but I want to show you why. So I'm just going to put on as I would put just a regular gel polish first, and then we can see. So let's just do this nail for a regular gel polish. So I'm still going to put a primer just because I like to. And that's an air dry, so it's just going to air dry. And now we're going to go in with our base coat. Nice thin layer of base. Put that in your lamp. Give that a full 60 seconds. Okay, so say that's it, right? We put a base coat on and let's just put our polish down because isn't that what just you're supposed to do? Just regular base coat polish will prep your nail. Never not prep your nail. <laughs> and prime it if you can, if you have a primer. I always recommend a primer and a dehydrator. But, <laughs> so let's just go in. This color actually is the Pinkster from Madame Glam. So, and that's a thing too. My nails sometimes get lumpy and bumpy. I put sometimes I put product on them. Oof, I've overfiled before. Like, who knows? There's a million reasons why your nail might not be exactly smooth. And this is another reason why I kind of find I prefer to put a thin layer of a builder down prior to even out your nail as well. So we're gonna not pretend that that nail is still not broken there. <laughs> Demonstration purposes only. Okay, but let's just get our cleanup brush. Make sure that we're all nice and clean. Always do that before you cure. Okay, so there we go, our first layer. Let's go with our second coat.
Okay. So there we go. Pretty two coats. It's a really gorgeous color, actually. Look at that. Which is, again, Madame Glam. The Pinkster. The Mini. Super pretty. Two coats. That's usually all you would need with the gel polish most times. So we're going to just do two coats. And with Madame Glam, that's really all you do need. But I'm just going to go ahead and grab a top coat because we do want to do that as well. Okay, pretty. And then our top coat. Okay, our top coat, let's just go in and cure it. So let's talk a little bit about like health, nail health. <laughs> to be honest, guys, um, I don't know. I wouldn't say I'm the best at a natural nail girl because I'm just not a natural nail girl. I've always just loved to have my nails done, extensions on them to be exact. And I think the real reason for me and my personal, uh, my personal reasons is because this finger on this hand, uh, I slammed in a door when I was a kid. So it always grew back weird to me and I just didn't like it. So to me, you want to extend the nail out and make it beautiful along. So I always just got my nails done. So I wouldn't say I'm the best for what's the best way to keep natural nails they're long and strong and beautiful i do recommend that a lot of our health from our anything our hair our nails anything like that comes from within so i do recommend at least taking a multivitamin a multivitamin you should try to take regardless it's good for you um but they do have nail and hair vitamins but to be honest they're expensive they're not always the cheapest and it can be hard to keep that up right maintaining buying those type of vitamins so a multivitamin at least will give you kind of a little bit of everything and it will help as well cuticle oil helps extremely well wearing gloves any chance you get when it comes to putting your hands in chemicals all those things really will help your longevity of your natural nail and the less you do with it the less chemicals you put on it chemicals on your natural nail will still break down your natural nail a little bit it's just it just is what it is. It's not that it's destroying it or anything like that, but there, it is mixing with your natural nail, right? There's chemicals and polishes. So that it will break down it a little bit. And I do think that is why our natural nails over time, as we keep putting product on them, they get a little, a little more thinner, in my personal opinion. Okay, so like I said, I would recommend, but for external stuff, you can use cuticle oils. That helps really well as well. But try to get a multivitamin in you. So here we go. Beautiful natural nail. Oh, not the best, but you don't say it, right? We have our polish on, we're good to go. That's all we need, right? No. <laughs> Why I say no is because, say this nail is going to grow out a little bit. And I wish my nails were a little bit longer for this demonstration. But again, guys, I'm not going to grow my natural nails. I keep them on for a couple weeks or so, and then I want my, I want long nails on. So with me, I don't do shorties often. Or natural nails, you can get longer, but again, you have to keep maintaining them. So this is a, just a regular gel polish. Now, why I don't recommend you just going regular gel polish and maybe try to get a builder is because, you see this? Perfect. I'm sorry for the construction, guys. But do you see how, okay, I can bend my nail. There is no, there we go, that's a bit better of a view. It's, it's flexible. Why? Because gel polish, there's no strength in gel polish. Yes, of course, you're going to get a little bit of strength. But if you have very thin nails like myself, then when these grow out, that's all it's going to keep doing. It's not giving the hardness or protection. It's flimsy almost, right? This is why I recommend a hard gel. So let's go ahead and apply a thin layer of, sorry, not a hard gel, I apologize, a builder gel. I or you could do a hard gel, but again, hard gels are non-file. So if you're going to be doing for natural nails, I recommend a builder, which you can soak off. So we're going to put a builder on. That'll give our nails with a little bit of strength. And so when we do put our polish on, for one, we'll get a much better, um, sorry, a much better application because, well, the builder will kind of, any little indentations or any little waves that our nail might naturally have, the builder gel will fill them in and give it a nice solid structure to paint on. So again, that's why I prefer doing a little bit of a builder. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, you construction guys are digging me. 
Okay, guys, so again, I'm just going to show on one nail here instead of doing the whole five hand. I'm not going to keep on natural nails anyways. This is just for the video. And again, because the construction is bejeez in the soul, I kind of feel bad. Like, I hope this video is still good. Triggers. So I'm going to try to hurry up a little bit. <laughs> okay, so dehydrated primer. Okay, remember, we've already cleaned our nail cleaning, prepping our nail, whatever you want to call it. So, the clear. so that means get all the dead skin off your nail. A little slight buff, it ain't going to do nothing, but we need to rough her up a little bit so these chemicals can sit in the grooves of that roughness and that'll hold it. So we need that bond. There's nothing to stick on if you don't rough it up a little bit. It's just a smooth surface. Nothing likes to stick to a smooth surface. So you, you need it just a little. Like I said, it won't damage your nail, but just rough it up a little. Okay, so here we go. Now we have all that on, our dehydrator, our primer. Again, we have to go in with the base coat. I'm going to go in with the Born Pretty base coat. You can use a soak-off base with a soak-off gel. Perfectly fine. If this was a hard gel, I would recommend a hard gel base. But this is a builder, so we can use a soak-off base coat for it. And this, we had a little crack over here. We don't even have to worry about that. This hard gel will actually fix that and allow it to grow out so we can keep a little bit of length in our nail unfortunately let's not talk about that side okay so we have a little bit of base we're going to go in and cure that okay so we're going to get our gel brush this is the lgn pro oval six but honestly my favorite brush ever since i bought it i need seven of them now so i love them so we're going to take a little bit of our builder just a little not too much and we won't need a lot either so we're just going to go down now it's still important in my eyes to do a slip layer so i probably didn't need that much gel takes it off so a slip layer is a very thin layer of your hard gel or your builder sorry um, and then you would go down with another layer so this will help gel likes to go where gel was so that's all that does it just kind of guides it for us make it a little like so we're just going to do a little layer put her in the light and then we're going to get a little blob. Again, it doesn't have to be too much. We're not going very thick here. We do not want to go very thick. We just want a medium layer. Not too thin. Too thin will just, it'll just break off. It's just too brittle. So medium, but not thick. Okay, a little baby bead. And you can really just paint it on at this point. You don't have to be too crazy because we're not going too thick. You're not really building a nail. You're not building... An apex, you don't have to build any of that. Your nail should be perfectly fine and it'll have its own natural little apex for this this um, length. We're not very long here at all. I'm gonna fix that guy. And here you again you could get a form to fix this, which I probably would would do. Just to keep our nail kind of going up and over. Again, still let it pull. So we're going to put our nail upside down. And it will pull in nicely. Okay, and now we're going to put that in the light. Okay, so again, this is just me and my preference because sometimes I miss little pieces and that's just, that just happens. So I like to get the smallest amount again and paint it over. Just paint just so that way if there was any little indentations. Again, some of my nails, I've overfiled my nails before, never a good thing, but it has happened. And you'll get little indentations and sometimes your nail just grows like that too, right? So it's, this is also why I like to do a little bit of a builder. And important, very important, make sure you're capping your edge. This is what's going to give this nail strength. If you can get your gel just on the underside. So a cap is, you're going to want it under your nail a little. Just enough to go over the edge. And then that will also help it not peel off. Um, some gel polish, it feels like it just wants to separate from the nail, right? And again, gel polish is going to stick to that builder way better than it would ever stick to your natural nail. It's just gel likes gel. 
So hand upside down a few minutes, let it do its work. We still want to do all the same things we would with a long extension. Besides the apex, we're really not going to need an apex. But again, it's always good just to get you a little arch. So you would tease it the same way underneath as you would a long nail in that form. Okay, so here we go. We can just look at that a little. It hardly looks like there's anything there, right? We, we're not going thick. We don't want thick. We don't want none of that. Okay, so we got a little bit of gel. Let's grab a lint-free wipe. Nope, oh, that's where they should have been on my desk. <laughs> Let's get our gel wipe solution, which is 60-40. 60% alcohol, 40% acetone. That's what I do for mine. Oh, it's flying everywhere. Okay, let's get a, oop, let's get rid of that inhibition layer, which is just the sticky layer that leaves behind on gel. And that's just because when the air touches gel, it won't cure. Oxygen and gel, there's something with it. It actually won't cure. And that's what leaves that inhibition layer. It's just a little thin layer of uncured gel. Whatever the chemical formula for some reason. Okay, so there we go. Make sure you get under your nail too, because remember we have a little bit of gel there. We're gonna pretend like we we fixed that, okay? But how to well, we know how to fix it. You would put a form. I'm not good at forms. I personally would keep trying to tease it. Let's see if I can actually do it. How I have fixed like a that, because it probably wouldn't bother me like that much. A little bit of gel. And you can just kind of tease it back and forth. Okay, so I'm just going to go in that and then go in the light. So something for a small break like that, I personally would just kind of tease it. But if it's a little bit bigger, you can use a form. I think forms are really good. I'm not that great at them, honestly. I suck at them. I'm not good at all at forms. But there's a million YouTubers out there that probably could help you along that way. Maybe one day I'll be one to help you there. But right now, guys, I don't think I'd be much uh, help to you in forms. So, But if a little break, just tease your gel back and forth. And it will actually, see that, oh, sorry, do you see how, just a little, it filled in that little bit of area. And again, if you wanted to, we say it wasn't perfect, and we wanted it to be perfect, tease it again. Full here. Okay, so we're just gonna fix that nail a little. Bring in your best collector. And let me ask. So do one thin file, just to make sure that it's all even. Alrighty, okay, so now that here we go, now that we have the structure of our nail, see how it's just even? That's why I prefer a little bit of a builder gel. It just gives your natural nail some structure, structure and some strength. This is also not going to be flexible it's hard as the snail was kind of flexible. Okay, so let's also now go ahead and put our gel polish on because that's gonna also give us a little bit of strength. It doesn't really give you strength, but of course it's gonna give you something. It's covering your nail, but it's not gonna give you strength of hardness or anything like that. As you see, this nail is flexible. We can bend it. And if this was longer, sorry, if my nail was more longer, it would be a little bit better of a demonstration, but and just to show you that again, like it is flexible. So let's go use the same color um let's go ahead with the base coat nice thin base okay and the light okay now we can go ahead with our gel polish Mm 
Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll put that in the light. Go ahead with our second layer. Okay, put her in the light and blink. Why do I never blink every time I polish my nails? <laughs> this looks like I'm concentrating. It's like I don't blink. Then we're going to go in with a top coat. Because I use Madame Glam polish, I'm going to use a Madame Glam top coat. That's what I would recommend. Again, try to keep your brands with your brands. So we used a Born Pretty base. <laughs> We probably should have used a Madame Glam base, in all truth, for a Madame Glam polish, but we're going to use a Madame Glam top coat. those edges. That's all you're gonna do. And then I'll line those here. See if I was able to do this to me. My little natural nail. Okay, so now we're gonna put that in the light. Okay guys, so here we go. That is it. <laughs> That's all. So it is a little bit smidge thicker. Not too, too thick, but obviously we have a little bit of product on that compared to, to that nail. Now, the big difference of why, again, I prefer to put a thin layer of builder is just it gives your nail structure and strength. We need strength even with natural nails, especially I find my nails are very thin. So I don't know if that's because I do a lot with my nails, to be honest. So I prefer if I'm going to do a natural nail, I kind of need to put a little bit of something to harden them up to keep them strong so they don't just get flimsy and break. Again, how this one is pretty flexible. It can kind of move. And this one is not. It's not moving. It's not bending at all. It's keeping its strength. And as it grows out, it will keep its strength and structure. Again, as this nail grows out, what's going to happen is there is no structure. There's no strength. So it's, it's just going to peel and break and it, you're gonna probably pick it in all truth something like this is flexible and flimsy i'm gonna pick that guy and it's going to separate this is a hard nail it's giving me my structure and strength where this one is it bends that's not a comfortable feeling especially if you have length on your nails can you imagine that being a little longer and it bending if it gets stuck and it's gonna bend right it's there's no strength and structure with just gel polish so it's always good to go a little bit of builder just a little but do a builder so you can soak it off um i would stay away from hard gels with natural nails uh if you don't really know what you're doing again because it is a file off system so soaking off products are a lot safer to try and use until you get used to a file off system so there you are guys i hope this helps just anybody little natural nails i can it works good for me i personally like it when i don't feel pretty nails on put a little bit of builder put whatever polish you want and you're good to go and honestly i just took these off that i had on for three weeks almost and they were growing out beautifully nothing was chipped i didn't pick them they were good but obviously once i took them all off my nails underneath were just flimsy little nails and they are <laughs> so in my opinion i would recommend doing a thin layer or medium layer not too thin medium layer of the builder gel go ahead and then you can put your whatever products you want over top of that go crazy but thank you guys so much make sure you hit that subscribe give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend thanks so much guys bye guys it's a gorgeous color though oh, i'm gonna have to get that in the big one okay the pinkster that's so pretty